the word no usually attracts negativity but many times it's extremely important to be able to make negative assertions we must be able to say what is not me in order to have me what we like has no meaning unless we know what we don't like our yes has no meaning if we never say no our opinions and thoughts mean very little if there is nothing we disagree with friends our today's story highlights just this The name of the story is What is not me? Now let's start the story. It was a usually mundane evening for Ria as she returned from her office on a metro. Ria worked as a receptionist at a jewelry showroom and was not at all content with her job. She loves to write and always dreams to become a journalist. Now and then she used to take out time from her busy schedule and wrote for some magazines as a freelancer. She wanted to take this job full time. But her parents won't allow her as it did not guarantee a fixed income. Her family was poor so Ria's parents didn't want to risk a fixed income from a receptionist job to freelance journalism. Ria tried to convince her parents several times that what may start as part-time would soon turn into a permanent job and will earn her a fixed income. Even much more than her current job but her parents didn't want to risk it fighting with these thoughts she looked at a boy who was selling flowers in the metro for many months ria has been traveling by the same metro every evening but this boy appeared before her for the first time the boy was poorly dressed and it seemed he needed help as the boy approached ria she took out a 10 rupee note to give it to the boy sister please buy some flowers a special discounted price for you the boy said I don't need flowers but you may still keep these 10 rupees Ria replied The boy looked at her and glanced at the note He was quiet for some time Ria then said Take it it's for you I want to help you The boy thought for a while and said no Before Ria could say anything he added Sister I had been begging for 2 years on the streets Yesterday night my diseased mother came into my dreams and asked me not to beg but live a dignified life I promised her not to beg anymore Sister I know I may earn less this way but I will still be happy. I had finally said no to begging. If you want to help me please buy these flowers. Ria was stunned and speechless. She quickly gathered her thoughts and bought flowers from the boy. The boy then went away. happily the flowers looked very pretty ria took her mobile and clicked the picture of it after thinking for a while 
she dialed a number she spoke to a person and once the call ended she seemed to be much more relaxed and content finally she dared to say no to her receptionist job and resign reaching home riya gave the bunch of flowers to her mother her mother asked you seem to be happy what did you do in the office that makes you feel so pleased from where did you get these flowers riya replied mother these flowers are my going away gift from my co-workers i have left my job you left what her father spit water out of his mouth staring at her in the process don't you think you were too impulsive i got this job for you after talking to so many people he said riya beta it was such a brilliant job not even temporary your dad can talk to your boss why would you leave it Is it hard to understand the meaning of a simple no? Ria mumbled. What? What did you just say? Her father raged. Oh lord, what's wrong with you? You had never talked back to us like this before. Why are you being like this? sobbed her mother. Ria's heart was galloping at an ecstatic speed as she replied Maybe because I never said no didn't even think of it to please you I did whatever I didn't want to I don't want to be oblivious about myself anymore Friends this story teaches us an important lesson that it's okay to have boundaries you can tell someone no without having bad feelings towards them you also never need to explain your boundaries once laid someone had rightly said no itself is a complete sentence <laughs>